Today we're talking about Bullet Train, a David Leitch movie, his first since Hobbs and Shaw, starring the likes of Brad Pitt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Sandra Bullock, among others. Aboard a high-speed train, several assassins looking to finish their assigned task get caught up in a whirlpool of different jobs that are seemingly all connected. Since the beginning of the year, I've been stoked for Bullet Train. The cast is stacked, the premise sounded like a lot of fun, and David Leitch returns the directing, who helped direct John Wick. He also directed directed Atomic Blonde, Deadpool 2, and Hobbs and Shaw, a couple of really explosive movies. So I went into Bullet Train expecting a bonkers movie that's just as explosive as David Leitch's other films. And while I don't think Bullet Train is a perfect movie, it's not better than Hobbs and Shaw or Deadpool 2, and certainly not better than John Wick, I still had tons of fun watching, mostly because of David Leitch's directing style, and because of the movie's cast, who were all great. The combination of those two things make up your viewing experience. You know, Brad Pitt has been on such a weird binge of performances this year. You look back at The Lost City, where he played a kooky character, and he returns to form here in Bullet Train just a couple of months later. I loved watching him in this movie. He was hilarious. Along with everyone else, Aaron Taylor Johnson was a standout, Brian Tyree Henry, Andrew Koji, Hiroyuki Sanada, and Bad Bunny, just to name a few of the actors that are featured in Bullet Train. There are are so many cast members in this movie it's hard to keep track of who exactly shows up but there's so many cameos so many big name actors I had a blast watching every single one of them on the screen it was tons of fun and adding that to David Leitch's fast-paced directing style made for an explosive viewing experience at the theater everything from the dialogue to the storytelling to the action is moving at a higher speed than anything you'll probably ever be able to keep up with it's a really fast-paced movie guys if you're not prepared to watch something that's as fast paced as Bullet Train, you should probably take notes beforehand because you'll get lost in the mix very quick. And when I say fast paced, I mean David Leach delves into a lot of small details and makes the most out of them. It's all crafted to a T. I could not believe the amount of small details that went into Bullet Train's script. It's mesmerizing. I couldn't even keep up with it. And it makes sense because the movie takes place in a Bullet Train, so I guess that was the point. And trust me, I'm all for high-octane movies. It's easily one of Bullet Train's biggest positives, but at the same time, it's a weakness of the movie. I say this because sometimes there's just too much going on to the point where you have no idea what's happening with storyline A and storyline Z. There's way too many storylines. As much as I love fast-paced movies, I think I hate convoluted movies a little bit more than I love fast-paced movies, if you know what I mean. And this movie gets way too convoluted towards the end. Things constantly shuffle. You're not sure which way characters lean, if they're good, if they're bad. And then a couple of characters just get thrown into the mix and they have their own storyline along with a backstory. It gets super convoluted for no reason. If they just told us that every character's mission is connected and kept it simple, this could have been a perfect movie, in my opinion. At least perfect from a goofy action movie standpoint, like Hobbs and Shaw and Deadpool 2. Those movies are so entertaining and easy to follow. Bullet Train is very entertaining, fast-paced, like those movies, but it's really hard to follow towards the very end. There's a bit too much going on for this script to keep intact. And one other thing I noticed, which to some is probably a nitpick, but to me, it's an important detail that the movie never explained or touched on, but there aren't many passenger to assassin interactions on this train. We see a couple, we see some crew members here and there, but they're mostly non-existent in this movie. You really only see the assassins on the bullet train and sometimes they're fighting they're breaking a lot of stuff on the train and somehow nobody notices it would have been nice if there were more assassin to passenger interactions in bullet train that would have made for a funnier viewing experience so to me that was a missed opportunity that they did not involve the passengers and crew members more often in bullet train but i still had a blast watching this it's certainly a movie you should see in theaters especially for david leach's directing style as well as the cast which is terrific and for a summer action movie it it is explosive. I am giving Bullet Train a 70%.
Alright guys, so have you seen Bullet Train? If so, what are your thoughts? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's one of David Leach's best or worst? Let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, as always, if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you all have a fantastic day.